Hello and welcome back to the Rope Access and Climbing Podcast, YouTube edition. I am your host, Mikey Stevenson, and today I'm going to be diving into the conversation about how to build multi-point anchor systems. Now, this is something that can be utilized in several different industries. So, if this is your first time here, please make sure to subscribe, follow us wherever you get your podcasts, and stay tuned. Step into your harness and get ready for a podcast about the vertical world. All right, so thank you very much for tuning into today's episode. Today we are talking about multi-point anchors, how to establish it. This one here is set up uh, rig to lower, so we'll kind of dive into what that looks like. Um, keep in mind that we're in a mountainous environment, so this could be used for mountain ops, rope access, rock scaling, several different kind of uh, industries that can utilize a multi-point anchor system. Now, depending on the jurisdiction that you uh, fall under, you may have to double this whole system up or you may be able to just operate as such. So this is what we have right here. So we got it tied back to a tree on that side. We have a center point that's tied back to. We got a big massive focal point here. As you can see, it's rigged up with a uh, pencil rig. And then over here, we have it rigged up to another tree. Now, keep in mind in this circumstance, the trees are relatively small, so I don't suggest using itty bitty trees like I have right now, but for demonstration purposes, it'll kind of give you an idea. Uh, depending on the industry that you work, you will be able to utilize this on I-beams, big trees, you know, having to utilize it on other structures. Um, so why would you would use this opposed from like say a large Y-hang? maybe one of the anchors isn't completely ideal or whatever so you have to utilize an equalized system and to disperse that loading amongst more pieces of equipment in rope access pretty pretty much we rely on only two pieces but then when you start jumping into the mountain ops or the you know the mountain rescue side of things you know this may be all you have um, as well the rock scaling so kind of diving away from the industrial rope access and kind of looking at a different concept here. All right, so let's dive into how I built this and talk about each element. All right, so the first point here, what we have to pay attention to, which is extremely important, is flaking out your rope. So you're either going to be on mountain ops where you have bags of rope. Um, so if it's bagged, probably pretty easy to do this. Keep it in the bag, walk through point to point. Um, but if you're not and you have coils or ropes, you're definitely going to have to focus that time on the preparation and flaking those ropes out. So that's what I'm going to do here. All right, so now that's flaked out. Um, the next thing here is obviously establish where your uh, anchorage points are and then we're gonna take this rope and feed it through each one. Now, in this case, I have a sling around each tree. Um, maybe you have that, maybe you don't have that, go around the tree. The concept is the same. So now I'm gonna read, uh, run this through each leg of my three-part multi-point anchor. Okay, so that stage is done. So I've just went up through the one sling, one carabiner around the first anchorage point, the second anchorage point as well, and then the third anchorage point up to my left. Now, all I'm doing here, just gonna pull through a bunch of rope, give myself a little bit of leeway here, and then I'm gonna take the bellies from point one to point two, pull that down, and point two to three and pull that down, all right? All 
All right, so now what I'm trying to do here is just kind of stay on my own two feet. But here, I'm gonna try to get everything down here nice and low where I have minimal angles and I can work with this, okay? So here, I've just taken this loop here, put it on top of the other loop. I have this bottom section here, which is basically just my tails. I'm gonna get, gain a little bit more tail here, so pull that through a little bit further. That's why we wanna make sure that we have enough tail here for this portion of the exercise. All right. Now, once I got that, I can take this one here from that side, fold it over, and then take this one and fold it over that direction. Now I have a centralized focal point, okay? If I pull this, as you can see, all three of my legs are, you know, coming tight. That's exactly what I want. I have the ability to move this whichever direction and then just kind of, you know, equal it out as much as I can and move that in whatever direction I need, okay? So from here, wiggle it down, just make it a little bit longer, add some more rope into the system. And this is my fall line, this is where I'm going. So what I wanna do from here is create a big focal point. Now, if that's an eight, a nine, an overhand, there's so much rope in the system, it doesn't matter. Um, obviously, going from an overhand to an eight or a nine, it's just gonna utilize more um, rope and depending on how much rope you have, you may or may not be able to do that. So let's dive into here, okay. Clean that up, looking good. Now what I'm gonna do is just pull this all into my palm here, pull this up, try to get that all nice and snug, all three legs. And now I'm gonna just figure out where my centralized point is, there we go. And now I can tie that figure eight. go. Okay, there we go. Now, always, because these are loose, just give them a snug pull. They'll cinch down a little bit more. Excellent. So now I pull on that, all three of my legs are taking a little bit of tension. One a little bit more than the other. It doesn't really matter, um, but it gives us some sort of equalization. Now, here, like I said, rig to lower. So I just have this set up on a, on a rig. Clip that in. Open that up and now I got a rope here. You know, if I was in a situation where I'm in the mountains and I'm having to lower someone down a trail, this is a great system. Obviously, a little cumbersome to be moving and hopscotching down a, a cliff, but you know, we got a rig to lower, something quick and dirty, send them down on stage, and then just keep jumping it down. Obviously, depends on the operation. So here, I'm gonna take the rope, Put that into the rig. Lock that there. Now, from here, as you can see, it's all set up. All the ops team or whoever's controlling it just has to control this normally, and you have your multi point anchor set up. All right, well, thank you very much, everyone, for tuning into today's episode. Let me know what you thought about this. Is this something that you used in the field before? What industry do you come from? And, you know, if you are in an industry that you've never utilized it, maybe think about where you could utilize it and let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button. It definitely helps the content here. Hit the subscribe button down here in the left corner the bell for notifications as I put out new content every Sunday. All right. And until next time.